Hello traders, FS Pocaletti here. Today is Thursday, August 17th, and I'm going to be analyzing the DXY and the US dollar index starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the DXY monthly, I still think this is the end of a big ABC correction. If that right there is the end of a correction, then I think this move up is just going to be a correction to this move down, and I believe over the coming months it's going to continue to make lower lows and lower highs. So let's head down to the weekly, which is where I prefer to switch back to the US dollar index. I do still believe that this first move down is a trend for the wave one. I think this is an A, B, C, D, E of wave two. And I don't really think this move up is complete. I actually still believe it's going to go up to one of these higher Fibonacci levels to finish off this wave two before it actually does end up going down and making a wave three. So let's keep going down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, now one thing to notice about this is that we definitely have five waves up right here, but with how stretched out that fifth wave is, I really don't think that is even the final wave. I think it's gonna continue to make more waves, like a wave six, seven, maybe even an eight, nine, and go all the way up to this higher Fibonacci level to finish off this uptrend, probably a wave E of wave two. So let's take it down to the daily, the four hour time frame that is. On the four hour time frame, we are definitely sitting at a Fibonacci level, which would make you think that we'd be starting a new correction, especially with this one, two, three, four, five shape. It does seem pretty likely that it will start a new correction, but I definitely wouldn't be trying to go sort the dollar right now because this very easily could just make a little correction to adjust this last wave up and just keep on trending up. So I definitely am personally only looking for long still on the dollar, especially on the sort of time frames, because I think there's a good chance this will keep on trending up. So let's take a look at it on the one hour time frame. One hour time frame, we did have a little bit of an impulsive move down, but it never broke any structure. It never told us that the trend was over. I think that we'd still need to continue to look for longs in an uptrend. I still think it is possible that it will make a bigger crutching like that before it goes up. But like I said, I have no idea whether it's going to make a big crutching like that or whether it's just going to make a small pullback and just keep on going up. That's why if I see three ways down, if I see impulsive up, I am definitely going to take that as a long opportunity and I'm definitely going to be ignoring any sorting opportunities because those are counter trend trades that I, I believe are going to be very dangerous to enter in such a strong uptrend. So don't forget to join my free discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.